Part 10. Next Steps. How to Optimize the 3D Scene. Picking up from the previous exercise. If I open the Layer Explorer and go through the layers, I'll start by switching off layers that I feel don't need to be optimized. The two layers that I'll focus on are the Disperse and Cyclone ones. If you recall from the previous exercises, we use Sign Night Disperse to add the people and Cyclone to array the cars and street objects along the street. I won't touch the stack up buildings, so I'll switch the layer off and switch off the ground layer. Now if I open Explorer, you can see the file size is quite large at around 450 megabytes. The objective of this exercise is to drastically reduce that size by converting a lot of the 3D assets to proxies. Starting with the disperse objects, scroll to the end of the rollup to export to geometry. If I click on the drop-down menu, you can see you can export in different formats. For the people, I'll export directly to V-Ray proxies. I will leave the display as preview. Then click Export. This opens the Explorer dialog box, allowing you to select the folder you wish to save all your proxies into. Disperse will export each model as an instance proxy. However, you'll need to rename the proxy assets for good scene management. To do this, open the Ignite Springboard plugin and scroll down to Rename Objects. Then select the objects and name them People. Click Rename Objects to apply. Next, I'll look at the cars, which I know were all high-res assets from Chaos Cosmos. I scroll down on the Cyclone rollup to export to Geometry and this time I'll export to Edit Mesh by selecting Export to Single Objects. As before, I'll use Ignite Springboard to rename the exported assets to cars. Then, I'll bulk convert them to V-Ray proxies using the Ignite workflow tools. Make sure it's set to the right renderer. In my scene, it's V-Ray. Next, I set the folder path to export the proxies into. I select all the cars I wish to convert, then click Create Proxy. The cars are exported to proxies. I reselect them and save them to a cars layer. I will repeat the above steps, this time opening the trees and lamp posts cyclone object. The objects seem to have vanished. If I select them, you can see there was a scaling issue with the original asset, which I need to reset to one to fix. All done. Now I'll save the file so we can compare the file size. You can see by converting all high-res assets to V-Ray proxies has dramatically reduced the size to around 23 megabytes.
If you haven't tried Ignite, it's available on a 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.